So Qualcomm has announced a new flagship processor, the Snapdragon 8 S Generation 3. And in this video, I want to tell you all about the chip and compare it to the existing Snapdragon 8 Generation 3 so we can see what the difference is in terms of CPU, GPU, cameras, AI, and so on. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so the Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 versus the existing Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. And when I first saw the name of this uh, processor, I thought, oh, this is going to just be a binned version of the uh, 8 Gen 3. But it's not. It's not just a binned version. And we'll talk more about that now. So what is the Snapdragon 8S Gen 3? Well, Qualcomm says it's a flagship processor curated from your favorite Snapdragon 8 series features. So all the best bits, all the bits that they think are, you know, really important, they've put this in this new processor, but it's not better than the Gen 3. This isn't a plus version. This is slightly lower than the, the 8 Gen 3, but greater than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. So it fits in there somewhere in between. And this will become evident as we talk about this more. It supports generative AI, of course. Qualcomm AI engineering enabled on-device Generative AI at breakneck speeds, that's uh, the marketing from uh, Qualcomm. There are 10 billion parameters with support for multimodal uh, models, uh, including 30 plus large language models and large vision models. It supports Llama 2 and interestingly, Gemini Nano. Uh, and it has also the cognitive ISP, which allows for photo expansion, Snapdragon low light vision and an always sensing facial Unlock, so that's a combination there of the neural stuff, the machine learning stuff, the photo expansion, and also the directly working with the cameras, for example. There's also some Snapdragon Elite gaming features, uh, most importantly, hardware accelerated ray tracing. So here is the overall slide that we get from Qualcomm. So as you can see, talk of the ISP, uh, talk of the generative AI, there's some things here about the uh, connectivity and the GPU, which we'll talk about now in detail. So first of all, the CPU, what is the CPU like? Well, if you look at the 8 Gen 3, the normal one, you've got one Cortex X4, three Cortex A720, another two Cortex A720 clocked at a slightly lower clock speed, and then two Cortex A520. It's a very different setup in the Snapdragon 8S Gen 3. Still got the X4, very good there, but clocked slightly lower at 3.19 gigahertz. So just slightly lower, but not too much. And then four Cortex A720 as opposed to five, and they're all clocked at 2.8 gigahertz, so a significantly lower there. And then the remaining cores to make it an octa-core are 520 cores, so that's three of those clocked at 2 gigahertz compared to 2.3. So you can see that it's kind of uh, lower across the board and a different CPU configuration. This is a 1 plus 4 plus 3 setup rather than a 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 setup, even though the five there in the middle are, of course, the same uh, 720s on the original Snapdragon 83. So a very different CPU. So you can see they've intentionally designed this chip from the beginning using the same technology. They've kind of taken the same features, but it's actually a, a, obviously a very different chip. So what about the GPU? Well, Qualcomm for a while now don't give out names and numbers of the GPU, so we know it's an Adreno GPU. But one thing we do know is it's based on the 8 Gen 2 GPU and then optimized, tweaked, and put into this 8S Gen 3. And it supports various lead gaming features like uh, Super Gamer uh, Resolution, uh, Frame Motion Engine, Shadow Denoiser, got variety of um, different uh, API supported there and it does have hardware accelerated decoding for H.265, VP9 and AV1. So that's interesting for all the AV1 fans out there, hardware decode for AV1 in this chip. And other differences were in the camera, there are a few differences, mainly there's 8K HDR video capture, we've only got 4K HDR video capture at 60 frames a second in the 8S Gen 3. There's 4K video capture at 120 in the original 8, uh, but in this one there's 4K at 60 frames per second. There's no computational HDR video capture. The uh, night vision video capture with raw AI noise reduction in 4K has been replaced by Snapdragon low light vision, and there's no Dolby HDR photo capabilities in the Snapdragon 8S Gen 3. A few other differences, LPDDR5X at 4800 megahertz 
on the original 8 LPDDR5X at 4200 megahertz on the 8S Gen 3 and we know that the 8 Gen 3 is built on TSMC 4 nanometer that's the N4P process my thinking is this is maybe TSMC's first 4 nano uh, uh, generation so just the 4N we need confirmation on that but I'm I would be guessing they're not built on the same process node to help lower the cost there slightly when it comes to connectivity there's a snapdragon x70 modem that's the same as the modem in the 8 gen 2 not the same not the one that you find in the 8 gen 3 so that's 5g uh, release 17 uh, in real terms you're not going to notice uh, any difference but you do have the same fast connect 7800 for wi-fi and bluetooth so that's the same as the 8 gen 3 so 5.8 gigabits per second maximum theoretical maximum from Wi-Fi 7, dual Bluetooth, and so on. So slightly lower on the 5G, but you won't notice any difference, and the same on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So what do we know about availability? Well, the 8S Gen 3 will be adopted by many of the major OEMs, including Honor, Realme, Redmi, Xiaomi, and so on. They're gonna be devices that will be slightly cheaper because this is a cheaper processor. So commercial device expected to be announced in the next coming months. Will phones with the Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 be available in the USA? Yes, they will. So I think we're going to see quite an interesting set of phones with this. Just still premium phones, kind of second tier flagship, slightly cheaper processor. Maybe the OEMs will change a few other things around uh, to lower the price as well. So this could be an interesting way of giving that premium experience without paying that premium price be interesting to see what happens okay that's it my name is gary sims this is gary Express. i'd love to hear your thoughts on the snapdragon 8s gen 3 would you consider getting a device uh, with that processor in it as soon as we get some benchmarks and some sustained performance data i will make a follow-up video so we can see how this compares to the existing snapdragon 8 gen 3. until then Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want to make sure you get pinged when these videos come out, do subscribe to the channel, hit that notification thing as well, and everything should be great. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.